Hi guys, Jack here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. It's already the second week in January. I haven't guessed that the weeks would go so quickly, you know, um, especially the last few days since I've started vlogging. You know, I've, I don't know how the time has gone by because you know I'm always making videos and editing them and, and, and so on. So not only that, uh, today um, I'm releasing my first online course. It's actually not first one. Uh, it's it's my I think second or the third because there's already a few um, free courses available on the on the site. So I'm actually launching a, a an online course called uh, How to Create a Employee Feedback System Using Office 365. This is an ongoing course. Uh, I'll add more material as I go. But for now, I'm just um, you know, in the course you can find what is um, how to create a, f a customer feedback form and also you you know collect employee net promoter score uh, as part of that feedback form and and so on. So we've covered like what is ENPS, some of the benefits of uh, employee net promoter score system, and and using Microsoft Forms how you would actually create a, a system. So it's an end-to-end -end system using Microsoft Forms, but again, in the later days, I can actually add more smarts to it, like you know, doing some sentiment analysis and you know, also doing real-time Power BI dashboards on, on ENPS and so on. So that's coming in, in that's in the pipeline in the next uh, weeks or so. But for now, you could actually jump on the online course. I'll provide the links in the in the comments below to just check it out. So as we're just getting started, and it's a, uh, it's a soft launch. So uh, the course is available for free uh, for a limited time. So I really encourage you to go check out the course and, and give me some feedback on how I could actually improve both my videos and also the online courses as well. Um, next up, so every Saturday, like the previous Saturday, I've, uh, I've, I've decided to do a review of the week that has passed by. So, you know, talk about things that caught my attention, talk about how my week has been and so on. So, first thing first, the things that are the, that caught my attention this week, um, there's three things. One um, is the the OneDrive files on demand feature is coming to Mac as well. It's only available for Windows up to up till this stage, but now it's actually available on on the Mac as well. So, what is on on demand files files on demand is is essentially uh, the users would. You know, doesn't have to sync all of their OneDrive uh, to their to their Mac or to the desktop. Uh, they can just just you know they'll actually see that you know all their files in the uh, in the in their folders, by on on the on, on their desktop, but not necessarily everything is actually imported into their and synced up into their system. So they can actually elect uh, which files to sync up uh, synced up to their desktop. Previously, that was available only on Windows, but now it's actually available on the Mac as well. Next thing is I've recently come across a, a really encouraging, uh, it's a really interesting course on uh, driving adoption, service adoption, user adoption of SharePoint, Exchange, Teams and so on. I think it's the core of that is, is around Microsoft Teams, but you get the picture. It's um, if you're an Office 365 consultant or if you're an Office 365 admin or an IT manager and want to be certified around how to drive the service adoption of Microsoft Teams and the other services in Office 365, definitely encourage you to check it out. Myself, uh, I haven't actually taken the course yet. I'm planning to take that next week and I'll provide you the feedback on the course in the in the next review video. But I'll leave, the, uh, I'll, leave I'll, I'll actually make a, a blog post on this, on this, um, on, on this video and then I'll actually leave all the links in there. I think that's better. Uh, what else? Uh, also, I've seen the Fluent design uh, being rolled out into Office 365 as well, um, starting with the new icon sets and so on. It's not a big thing, but it's still it's getting a new leak of play, paint. Those are the three updates that I've seen come through in the last uh, few days. What else? Um, the next part segment of this video is talking about my week been so far. So my week has been uh, not so busy with, with the work aspect of it. So I've been doing some pre-sales work, um, but also like you know the fall the pre you know the first week of January we had say the training bootcamp. I've learned a lot about OnBase, 
um, learned a, a lot about open text and, and HP trim and so on. And uh, I have also provide a, I've done a presentation on ECM capabilities in Office 365 uh, and also spoke about in a different presentation around the capabilities of Flow, how Microsoft Flow can actually support document lifecycle from an ECM perspective and stuff like that. So I've got a rev, uh, good reviews for, uh, for both the sessions, which I'm really excited about and, 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 and uh, generate a lot of interest in, in Office 365, which, which I'm all about. So there you have it. That's a quick look at the week that's passed by. And um, tomorrow, stay tuned. Uh, Sunday is a, is, is a podcast day, so I'll, re I'll release my episode two tomorrow. Thanks, and uh, stay tuned for the, tomorrow's video.